What's up guys, it's Dr. Jim, uh, your CBD expert, your natural healthcare expert, and we are going live tonight. Um, I'm excited, everybody when you're getting on, uh, go ahead and um, go ahead and just comment, uh, put your name, where you're, where you're coming in from. Thanks for getting on, Aaron, thanks Susan. Um, but when you get on, uh, let me know who's getting on, if you're watching it live or on the replay, because you know I love, I love it when I find out people getting the full energy, seeing it live, and I even love it when you're watching it on the replay. Either way, um, I'm glad to have you guys tonight. We're gonna be talking about a really hot topic. Um, people have been messaging me about this topic over the, a lot over the last week, and it's about CBD oil and diabetes. And um, before we get started talking about CBD oil and diabetes, something very, very important, I gotta give a disclaimer, okay? Number one is we do not diagnose, I don't claim to diagnose or treat any or cure any disease with CBD oil, okay? That's very important. Number two is I'm not your doctor tonight, you're not my patient tonight. Nothing about this constitutes a doctor-patient relationship. So any information that you get from tonight, I want you to use it strictly for educational purposes. And everything that we talk about tonight is to be used in conjunction with anything that you're doing with your doctor currently. So um, certainly I would love to help you. You can message me, I will help you. I've just, I, I got carpal tunnel syndrome responding back to all these awesome messages I get. But um, just want you, want to put that disclaimer out. We do not diagnose or treat. This is not a cure or a treatment for type 2 diabetes. But we're going to talk about the effect of CBD oil on diabetes and ultimately some of those, those pieces and how it works together. So first things first, what's really important is I think we need to understand what is diabetes because there's a bunch of them. I bet you, a lot of you probably don't know, there's actually probably four kinds of diabetes. Um, there's a couple everybody knows about type 1 diabetes. Now that's a type of diabetes that people usually get um, when they're maybe you know in their teens or even younger sometimes. Um, but basically type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where your own immune system starts attacking the cells, the beta cells in your pancreas and they destroy your pancreas's ability to make insulin. So this is the thing, if you're a type 1 diabetic there is nothing about CBD oil that's going to make you not need to take insulin anymore because your body no longer makes it, okay? Now, there, we may be, you may be able to reduce how much you have to take, which is a great thing, but I don't want you to think that you're going to never have to take uh, insulin because, you know, if you're a type 1 diabetic, if you started taking CBD oil. Hey guys, thanks for getting on. So that's type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the much more common one, and that's the one that most people understand or know about. But there's some misconceptions about it, which is a lot of people believe that type 2 diabetes is when your pancreas just can't make enough insulin anymore. Well, that can, that can gradually happen, but ultimately type 2 diabetes is really a diabetes of insulin resistance meaning we've put so much sugar into our bloodstream over such a long period of time that your, you know, when, when sugar goes into the bloodstream, your body, your pancreas pumps out insulin, and insulin's job is to drive that sugar into your cells for energy. And you know, once, once it can't do that, once your cells have seen so much insulin over so much time, it no longer responds to it the way it used to. It becomes resistant to its action. And so what that does is you can't get that sugar into your cells anymore, and now that sugar's floating around in your bloodstream and your blood sugar numbers go up, and you ultimately end up with diabetes. And that's called type two diabetes. Now there's two others that people don't know as much about. The, second, uh, the third one is what's called type 1.5. You go, wait a minute doc, there's a one and there's a two. When did they make a 1.5? Well, 1.5 isn't really that well known. It's usually people think they have type two because it happens as you get older, but it's really what's called latent autoimmune diabetes. So it's really type one in that your immune system is attacking the cells in your pancreas and it's destroying your body's ability to make insulin, but it's doing it over a slow period of time. So it, it tends to, they used to call type one um, juvenile diabetes and type two adult onset. 
Well, they don't do that anymore because now they realize you got kids getting type 2 diabetes because they eat so much sugar. And now with type 1.5, people are developing a style of type 1 diabetes as they get older because their body, their immune system is slowly destroying their, their pancreas cells over a lifetime. And that's a really, really tricky one because most people are diagnosed as type 2 because they're 40 or 50 when they find out. And then the docs can't figure out why they can't control their blood sugar. And it's because their body is destroying their pancreas slowly over time. So that's type 1.5. And then the last one, and this is really much, much newer research, but um, type 3 diabetes. Like, doc, there was a 1 and a 2. That's all I knew about. Well, now there's a 1.5 and there's a 3. And type 3 diabetes is actually Alzheimer's. Okay, What they have discovered is that Alzheimer's is very much a type, a type of diabetes that affects the brain. Okay, You actually become, um, the brain cells become more and more insulin resistant. And what it does is ultimately the brain can't get sugar into brain cells and brain cells die and there's oxidative damage and that's ultimately what they've linked to Alzheimer's. So I just thought it was really important that we understand that, you know, diabetes just isn't about like, hey dude, put down the Snickers bar. Um, you know, there are, there are people that didn't, there are people that it was not because of a lifestyle that they ended up that way. Type, type 1, type 1.5 are completely um, autoimmune and most people with autoimmune conditions didn't really, they didn't make choices that made that happen. It just happened. Okay, so it's important to kind of look at that. Um, but what we really want to know, right? So we know about these types of diabetes, 1, 2, 1.5, and type 3, Alzheimer's. But what can CBD oil do to help in those situations? Well, there's a couple things. There's been a lot of research out there, and some of the researchers have determined that people that use CBD oil have about a 16 to 17% lower rates of of, of blood sugar type 2 diabetes as well as um, lower 16 to 17% lower insulin rates. And that's really important because when we think about the damage from diabetes, um, you know, a lot of people think it's just because your sugar gets high. And if you just take more insulin and, and your levels are low, then you should be fine. Your blood sugar isn't high. Maybe you have normal blood sugar and you're taking a bunch of insulin to make it happen. But guess what? It's not just the sugar that causes the damage, it's actually the high insulin levels. High insulin levels damage your arterial walls, your kidneys, your eyes, all the damage that you typically see from a diabetic not, is not just from the high blood sugar, but it's also from high insulin levels. So just taking insulin to push down your blood sugar numbers doesn't help you in the long term from a health standpoint. And so what's great is what they've, what they've, the research has shown is that people that use CBD oil and cannabis products actually have about a 16 to a 17 percent lower blood sugar and lower insulin levels, and that is a big difference when you're talking about a hundred million people in the United States right now that have diabetes, and about 84 million people in the United States right now that are considered pre-diabetic. And so, yes, number one is it helps lower insulin and blood sugar. One of the best ways that CBD oil can be used to help in diabetes is, is to work on prevention from the beginning. You know, they always say, uh, you know, what, what is it, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? So why not, let's not get it in the first place. So if, if you use a supplement of CBD oil on a daily basis, it's going to help lower your blood sugar and um, lower your insulin levels, which are most likely going to help prevent working in that direction in the first place, which is awesome. The researchers have also shown that people that they believe, Harvard Medical believes that somehow, and this is the cool thing, they don't know. They don't they don't they don't have all the answers right now, but they do believe that CBD oil has a positive impact on carbon on um sorry, on um carbohydrate metabolism. So if you can improve carbohydrate carbohydrate metabolism, you're able to break it down and use it better and quicker, then it's less likely to linger the blood sugar out in your bloodstream for, for diabetes. Number two, is it significantly, and this one's for you, Vicky, it is incredibly good for insulin resistance. 
okay? This is really important because insulin resistance is ultimately driving uh, type 2 diabetes, okay? I mean, that is the main thing that you're getting is insulin resistance is what's driving um, type 2 diabetes. Um, once you have type 1 and your body can no longer make uh, insulin anymore, how your cells or your insulin sensitivity is really important because if, you, if you're insulin resistant and you have to take more and more insulin, you're just pumping more and more insulin in your body. And we already talked about being able to lower your insulin levels is really, really important, okay? So um, it significantly helps with insulin resistance. One of the hypothesized way that that happens is we know that CBD oil has an incredibly profound effect on inflammation, all right? Inflammation is like gasoline to a diabetic fire. So the more insulin and um, inflammation that you have in your body, the more inflammation you have, the more insulin resistant you get. And the more insulin resistant you get, the higher your blood sugar numbers go. And the more and more damaging your diabetes is. And it's what damages your arteries and all these things. So it's really, really important to realize that CBD oil has this incredibly positive impact on inflammation. And if you can bring down inflammation, it has a significant impact on your insulin sensitivity, which helps lower blood sugar levels. All right. Great in type two. Now, the other part is we just talked about like the these other types of diabetes, type 1 and type 1.5 are both autoimmune conditions. Now, what does that mean? It means your immune system has gotten so out of balance that your body thinks it's okay to attack your own cells, okay? So what happens is, is that what we know about CBD oil is it is an incredible immune system modulator. It helps bring balance to the immune system. And if you can bring balance to the immune system, then your body quits attacking itself. And, if, and maybe it doesn't stop it completely, but if you can slow down the attack, and then you can address your diabetes from diet and exercise in other places, then you're gonna have a really, really, really awesome effect in dealing with diabetes okay so and then um this is kind of a cool one another piece to helping with diabetes because we just talked about if you just eat and you're putting lots of food into your bloodstream all things eventually convert to sugar if you eat too much too much protein it turns into sugar and so just overeating eventually can drive even if it's not just you know let's you're like well i'm not eating carbohydrates i'm eating protein but if you eat too much protein, it will turn into sugar and you can get diabetes from that. So what's really cool is CBD oil has also been shown to be somewhat of an appetite suppressant. And if you can keep yourself from being hungry all the time, maybe you don't eat as much and that will have a positive impact on your weight and ultimately a positive impact on what we call diabetes. All right, where obesity and blood sugar kind of go together. And if your blood sugar is going up, you get fat and the fatter you get, the more impactful it is on your blood sugar. So, we know there's four different types of diabetes. One, two, 1 1.5, and three are Alzheimer's. Um, we know that CBD oil has a positive impact in a couple ways. Number one, it improves carbohydrate metabolism. Number two, it, it significantly improves insulin resistance, and one of the mechanisms they believe that it does that is through its anti-inflammatory impact, and then, it, in addition to that, the types of diabetes that are autoimmune in nature, it has an impact on balancing the immune system, so the, it calms the body down, so it's not attacking um, your pancreas or your insulin. And then um, lastly, it has been shown to be somewhat of a um, appetite suppressant. So you just don't eat as much. And if you don't eat, overeat like crazy, um, it's gonna help with your diabetes as well. Now, obviously, CBD oil by itself is not just the end-all be-all about treating blood sugar and diabetes. You have to have an impact. You have to focus on your diet and what you're eating. And if you follow what they say in the American Diabetes Association, if you follow that long enough, you will become a diabetic. I, don't, I, I think it's complete garbage. I probably shouldn't have said that. But um, don't, you, you, have to, you need somebody who knows how to help you with diabetes. I certainly know about that. I know a lot of other doctors that really know how to help people with their diabetes. So, um, or blood sugar control, 
because once again, do not diagnose or treat diabetes with CBD oil. I don't diagnose or treat um, diabetes at all, but we can help regulate inflammation um, and blood sugar and metabolism and, and appetite. And all of those can have a significantly positive impact on diabetes. Now, it's important because I'm on a mission, all right? Now, I want to help you be the best you can be. So if you're out there and you're watching this video and you need help, you, you need somebody to help you with CBD oil, to help you with inflammation, to help you with, hey, listen, I, I, I'm having problems with, with diabetes. Do you think CBD oil can help me? You can always reach out to me, message me directly, and I will help you. If someone shared this video with you, whoever shared this video with you, please get back with them and they will, they will get you in contact with the CBD oil that I recommend. I have seen it work fantastic with people with diabetes and with blood sugar issues and I've seen it work very positively in myself and a lot of people and I, re I highly recommend get with me, message me, message the person that sent you this video because we're on a mission, man. We're gonna change a lot of lives, okay? There's a 100 million people in the United States right now with diabetes, 84 million people that are pre-diabetic. That's 180, simple math, 184 million people that need what we have um, if you don't know, if you don't know who sent you this video, message me. Um, in addition to that, I need people on my team. I, I need helpers, man. I am one guy, and I want you to help me spread the word. I want one person to message me from every state in the in the country to be on my team, and I want one person in every country in the world to be on my team. You message me, and we'll hook up, and we'll get together. I'll help you. You'll help me. Um, get with the people who sent you this video. That's also going to be great. Last thing, I do want you to know, I did put all of the lives I've been doing. I mean, we've gotten now like 60, 70,000 views on all the lives we've done. They're all on a YouTube channel, Dr. Jim Holland. That's all you need to know. Dr. Jim Holland, go to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe and you can share those videos for people that aren't on Facebook. Um, please tell everybody, man, we're on a mission. We're going to save a lot of lives. Um, just like I tell my son every day before he goes to school, be your very best today. Hashtag never quit. And if no one's ever told you this, I believe that God wants the very, very best for you. And the day you believe that, it's going to change your life forever. God bless. Have a good night.